So we're now going to look at the January the 3rd five a day solutions for foundation. So the first question, first two, uh, two questions are about uh, expanding and factorizing expressions. So the first one is y bracket 3y plus 2. So we'll do uh, y times 3y, which is 3y squared. And we'll do y times 2, which is plus 2y. So the answer to the first question is 3y squared plus 2y. Just remember to multiply both the terms inside by the y. Okay, the next question is to factorize x squared minus 5x. Well, as you notice, the numbers in front, well, we've got 1 and 5. Well, apart from 1, we can't, we've can't. we got no common divisors there, common factors there. But we've got x squared and 5x. So x goes into both terms. x squared divided by x, well, that's going to be x. And minus 5x divided by x, well, that's going to be minus 5. So factorizing would give you x bracket x minus 5. And let's just check you expanding it. x times x is x squared, and x times minus 5 is minus 5x. Okay, next question. The next question is to find the surface area of this cube. Well, let's get the area. Remember, surface area means the area of all the faces, and a cube has got six faces. And actually, all six of the faces are squares of the same size. So if we do 5 times 5, well, that's 25. And that means the area of one of the faces is 25. But there's six of them, so we're going to do 6 times 25. And 6 times 25, well, that's 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. So it's 150 centimetres squared. Notice it's centimetres squared because it's surface area. Okay, the next question. The next question is to simplify w cubed times w to the power of 5. Remember, add the power, so it's going to be w to the power of 8. Next question, w to the 8 divided by w squared. In this case, because we're dividing, we subtract the powers, so it's going to be w to the power of 6. Okay, next question. Uh, jam is made in the ratio. Uh, is made from sugar and strawberries in the ratio of three to five. Uh, a, ja a jar contains 150 grams of sugar. How many grams of strawberries are there, and how many grams of jam are there? So the first thing is to look at the ratio: sugar to strawberries, and the sugar is the three. So the 150 grams that's for sugar, and that's three parts in the ratio. So we're going to do 150 grams divided by three. That's going to be equal to 50. That means it's 50 grams in one part. Now, whenever we want to find how many grams of strawberries there are, well, strawberries is the 5 in the ratio. So we're going to do 50 grams for one part times 5, because there's 5 parts of strawberries, and that's going to give us 250 grams. And finally, to see how many uh, grams of uh, jam there are altogether, well, we know there's 150 grams of sugar. We know there's 250 grams of strawberry. If we add them together, 150 plus 250, we're going to get that's equal to 400 grams. So there's 400 grams in the jar. And the last question is to find the area of this trapezium. Well, the area of the trapezium is given by the formula half bracket a plus b times the height. In other words, you, um, we're going to do a half of the top with the two parallel sides added together, so that's A and B, A is the top, B is the bottom, and height is the five. So it's gonna be A is four, plus B is eight, and we're gonna times that by the height, which is five. So we've got a half of, uh, four plus eight is 12, and we're gonna times that by five. Half of 12 is six, so six times five, and six times five is 30, and then it's centimeters squared, because it's area, and that's it. 